back to another video. Um, I am here with Callie today. Um, it's the next morning. Um, we did a little bit of work with Eric last night. He just kind of finished working on some stuff and um, overall it wasn't too eventful of a night. Um, so we're with Callie today. It is final exams. So we're just going in and taking her exams because I think, I don't know, I want to be here with her on the more main days so we're gonna come and sit down with the crew over here I say crew but she doesn't actually know Sydney oh sh she does know Sydney that's not true I lied but yeah I'm gonna just gonna have her go in and sit with her friends and study for exams before they come up today Molly is so cute I really kind of want to see if like anything develops with Molly or if she ends up getting a crush on someone else because she doesn't have any preferences in particular. She's still exploring, so. Ew. All right. I do not want to add these grown adults to my contact list. No thanks. Imagine your principal asking to be on your social bunny friends list. That's so weird. She hates the stuff here, like the decorations here. I love this little group. This is so cute. She's so excited to see Molly. That's so cute. Look at them smiling at each other. That's so cute. I am really curious to see who she ends up with. She, like, hasn't had any crushes or anything so far, so... I have put in a few sims, but she hasn't met them at all. Oh my gosh, Jeb looks so upset. Are you good? I mean, I figure, the way I see it, if she had a crush on Jeb, she would have had it already. You know? I don't want to force something that's not there. If she's not attracted to him, she's not attracted to him. Same with Molly. Like, if she doesn't have a crush on Molly, she doesn't have a crush on Molly, and that's totally fine. They can just be besties. Um, yeah, she doesn't have any sentiments about him. Um, but I think it's almost time for class to start. I would actually, like, really like it if, um, Molly had a crush on- Oh my gosh. They sounded like a bunch of rats scurrying to class. <laughs> All right, let's do our exams and we'll see what the results are. I was having um, Callie cram for her exams at her locker and look at this absolute ridiculousness. What is wrong with you? What is going on? There is absolutely nothing scary happening here. I do not... <laughs> what is that reaction, dude? That was absolutely insane um yeah who knows why she's scared i can't believe that woman just came over and screamed in our face that was like kind of rude <laughs> go ahead and go to the bathroom oh i love this area back here this is so cute imagine coming out and like grabbing lunch and going out there during the spring i wish there was enough time but She's her lunch period's almost over because she spent it cramming. So that's totally fine. I also think this is gonna be a more of a Cali based episode, just because prom is tomorrow. And I wanna see if it works. If it doesn't work, I'm not that excited for it anyway, because I'm kind of over it, to be completely honest. But um I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna have her go buy a football actually. So I want her to have one. Um, and then we have our second exam in a minute. So I hope she goes to class. There we go. Oh, okay, so we're back. And for some reason, at the last day, like at the last second, um, Callie decided to get up and leave the classroom while she was taking her exam because she was feeling inspired. Um, so now she got an F on her exam, which is so annoying. I'm so frustrated. Um, 
I can't believe that happened. I... Oh, she was literally in here taking her test, too, and she just got up and walked out. Um, I... Whoa, where am I? Jeez. I'm just gonna have her come down and take a shower really quick. Um, because she's kind of stinky, and I want her to go out and do stuff. Is that the wrong one? Come take a shower here. Take a shower, and then I'm gonna have her go out with Molly just to celebrate, you know, the end of exams. But, oh, I'm so mad about that. I can't believe that happened. Did she get a new fear? Fear of failing tests? Yeah. Play difficult football practice. With an old woman, no less. Absolutely not. <gasps> oh my oh my gosh. What is happening here? Not them fighting. That's one thing to do in class at school. I um uh, I mean, I expect that much from Wolfgang, but not him beating up Morgan. Oh my gosh. The violence. My goodness. Well, let's invite out some friends and go hang out together. That was... She was just trying to do cheerleading practice. You're kind of late to witness the fight, baby girl. Oh my gosh. I'm just, you know, I'm just trying to mind my own business. So I downloaded this little lot as like a teen hangout. And so I brought all of the friends here to like, hopefully, hopefully she'll fill her fun need a little bit. Um, and just hang out with friends. It's a Friday. She doesn't have to worry too much about her homework. I don't know what door they're going through. Oh, they're going upstairs. <laughs> But yeah, I just wanted her to come hang out with some friends and calm down after such a rough testing day. I can't even, I can't believe that happened. That's so annoying. What did you do to Ash to have to apologize? You're not even playing anymore. Sure. Okay, she's having fun now. Good. I was a little worried. Let's order something to eat. Like a scone. Let's order... Not her leaving. No, we're not tending that. That is not our job. Um, is there any snacks or anything? Or... No, there's not. Well... We came and we played games for a little bit. <laughs> and the barista left the counter immediately. So let's try to find somewhere else to go. And we're back. I downloaded this super cute diner because it gave me Riverdale vibes. And I thought it would be really cute if my teen sims like came to this little diner and would eat together. <laughs> like a big fan. I think it's so cute. Oh, shoot. We can work from home today. We'll just work from home so that she can hang out with her friends a little bit longer before she has to go home. I just want her to spend time with them. Oh, she had her baby. I'm also going to quickly go into the lot traits and make this a teen hangout because... I don't know. I just... Um, convenial. Uh, sunny aspect and teen neighborhood. Yeah. Just so more teenagers come by and we can meet more people. Because, like I said, I really like having um, friend groups in this game. So. And then let's order for our table. Uh, I could see 
her getting a sparkling water. Not doing mimosas, um, that's for sure. I feel like Molly's an orange juice person. You know what I mean? <laughs> Honestly, I feel like Ash is probably lactose intolerant. Like, they're not, but like, I feel like they are, you know? <laughs> um... We're gonna have a BLT, omelet, grilled cheese. He's a grilled cheese boy. French toast for Ash and a veggie burger for Sydney. I really wanna see, I really want Callie to get a crush on someone, but I don't wanna like push it. Oh, Jamie. Do you have a GPS tracker on my Sims? What is going on? I mean, fortunately, like, Callie hasn't noticed yet, but that is so uncomfortable. Like, what is happening? Why is Callie here? I not Callie, but why is Jamie here? God. I'm gonna have her kind of focus on Jeb because she's not that close to him in comparison to everyone else. Um, you have never messed around. I know you want to, but... You wanna gossip five times. We can gossip to these people. He didn't like that? I don't even know what I said to him, to be honest. Where's the gossip thing? Gossip. Where are you going? You already ordered for the table. Sit down. I know. Just wait. The like super intense laugh gets me every time. I didn't even realize how late it was. <laughs> Okay, I think we're gonna go home. Our food never showed up. It's 1030 at night. We've been here since like 8, I think. We'll have to look back at the footage, but we've been here for a while. <laughs> Alright, we're back home before curfew. She has to do her work anyways. Um, dang, man. Also, I don't know... I wanted to also point out, I did give him some stubble just because um, I uh, wanted to give him stubble. I didn't really like the way he looked with a baby face, <laughs> so it was just like too young for me. He's supposed to be an older adult, so. Oh, he's jogging through the house. <laughs> Update online bio with business headshot. Oh, okay. Well, let's clean up a little bit first. Um, maybe change into something else. Actually, I don't think you wore this for your first business headshot. So let's take, exactly, you have the right idea. Let's take a selfie. That is so cute. She is just so cute, dude. I can't. Oh, I like the confident look. You're killing it. <laughs> her photography skill is too low. I can't trust her to take decent pictures. <laughs> um, let's upload business headshot. And then um, I'm going to have her change into her nighttime clothes just to get comfy because it's a weekend and... Maybe write in her journal. And then after she writes in her journal, I'm going to have her do some exam prep because she's super stressed after failing her last one. I don't know if her dad even knows about it, but uh, I think if he did, he would be pretty, pretty upset with her, but he's not going to. Whoa, 
I swear, they go for a jog and they just go so far from the house. <laughs> I think tomorrow he's going to focus on writing his book and stuff. Oh, right. Yeah, get all those negative emotions out, girl. Dad's back home. He's going to go take a shower because he's incredibly stinky. Um, he chat. He already chatted with his client, so I'm going to have him stay up a little bit late. I know. Go take a shower and write a nonfiction book after he gets done with his shower. Where is he going? Just going to speed through the night, and I'll see you in the morning. All right. So it's the next morning. Um... Mr. Eric ended up pulling an all-nighter, so he don't. I don't think he's going to be awake anytime soon. Um, but Callie just took a shower um, and is just, like, getting ready for the day. I am really curious to see what happens with prom today. <sighs> a little bit nervous. We'll see if the bug is still there. Honestly, I don't have the highest of hopes, but have her just continue paint. Wow! She finished it already? Oh! Oh, that's awesome! Her thing went up. In that case, I, I want to try to interact with this career more. Advertise your sim hustle online. Your side hustle, not your sim hustle. Um, and then I'm going to have her... Um... Oh, she's fully prepared for the next exam? Well, I hope she doesn't just leave the room mid-exam then. Gosh, that was such a... She oh, metal music. Alright, so Callie's invited over um, Molly and Jeb, and they're gonna go over to the amusement park and just kind of hang out for the day. Since um, Dad's still asleep and will be asleep for a while, I think. Um, I just want her to go and hang out with her friends. Um... I wish you could go with more than one person on these. Kind of sucks that you can't. Oh, Molly's sad. Oh, whoa. What the heck was that? Alright, let's all go here together. Oh, Sydney's here too. So we can hang out with Sydney while we're here. Oh, darling. After the last two, I cannot emotionally handle going to another one of these. We had a death. We had werewolves. I can't do it, you know? Not again. Not again. <laughs> I, I cannot do it again. Let's come over and order some bubble tea with the pals. All right, we're back. Um, she's just getting boba really quick. I just took a small break and um, made myself something to eat. I made some pork belly. It was so good. I'm so jealous of her. I really want some uh, taro milk tea. It's my favorite flavor. It's so good. I feel like I should give Darling a makeover as an apology for letting them burn alive last time. <laughs> <laughs> or flashbacks oh my gosh she's even thinking about it that's why she's so sad no she's sad from shared sadness where did all of my friends go are they still at the house no where are all my friends did they ditch me I want to take a photo with someone Let's take a friendly photo with Molly, wherever she is. I don't know where Molly is right now. Oh my gosh, Molly, Jeb. And they won't go. Jamie. Oh, go use the bathroom romance festival. We could get up to some shenanigans there. If it weren't prom, I'm just kidding. Like prom 
is going to work. Ooh, he is absolutely starving. Let's get some leftovers. Gosh, he has such a big butt. Oh! I will after I see if prom works. I really want to see if prom works. If it doesn't, we will go to the romance festival with um, Savannah. I think she's just over there by herself right now. Well, you can come home now. No one wants to hang out with you, apparently. Unless you want to ride rides by yourself. Jeb's walking back to your house. You're all alone over here, man. I don't know what to tell you. Go ahead and ride it by yourself, I guess. Kind of kind of sucks, doesn't it? They're leaving you now? What a crappy hangout. Screw them. You don't need them to have fun. Well, she's going to do that. You go ahead and send to the... You weren't even in there for very long. It's seven o'clock and nothing. Not a phone call. Cool. I love that they made a fix for it and it still doesn't work. Yeah, there is nothing here about prom or anything. Well, I uh, guess it wasn't meant to be. God, that's so stupid. Well, go to the romance festival. Why is she grayed out? They just updated it today. I'm so frustrated because it's just like simple stuff like this that should have been fixed in this patch that they just did, but nothing's really fixed. Other than what? People appearing as famous? Like... this st They're still grayed out when you travel, and then also, prom still isn't working, which is the main reason why a lot of people bought the pack. Like, don't send out fixes if you're not gonna actually fix anything. <sighs> oh my gosh. I'm gonna cancel this really quick, actually. Why is Hillary calling me? I'm not bringing my daughter to the romance festival. And we're here at the romance festival. Let's give her a hug. They actually get along pretty well. That's an outfit. I kind of want to see where it goes. I'll have her go to work since I'm not with her right now. Oh, she got a promotion. That's so cute. Good for her. Oh, okay. That's totally fine. I'm so sorry. I am curious though. I will be right back. So this is a thing that I have found with um, the most recent update at least with like random NPCs that have been spawning into my game. None of them have any preferences at all. And they all have that they're not exploring romantically. So it just makes it so that they won't be with anyone. And it just kind of, I don't know. Um, I just fixed it. I just like changed it because, um, I've been seeing that pop up a lot with like random, randomly generated Sims. Uh, and it kind of just makes it hard to, uh, tell stories. Because I had the same thing happen with, um, uh, Cadence's mom. Her romance person. He, he also just didn't have any preferences and wasn't exploring romantically at all. So he didn't give her a chance either until I went in and gave him a makeover and checked it out. So I think it's just a thing with like randomly generated sims like they just don't have any preferences and they automatically just aren't interested in anyone. 
At least that's the experience I'm having so far. Um, so, ask to be woohoo partners. What does that mean? What does that mean? Is this an in game thing? I have to try it. not close enough with me well this didn't go as planned <laughs> oh my gosh oh she had a baby i don't know what he's gonna do now i don't feel like giving another sim a makeover right now either He's not feeling her either. Wow. What? What? Okay. Well, this isn't going great. <laughs> I gotta say, on a scale of 1 to 10, this is not going the best. Um, but today was... Not us moving on this fast. Um, I want you to mention the flirty festival vibes to me. I want to see how well she takes it because I feel bad about you being this horribly single. I also just like, not even the single part. It's more so what an absolute disaster tonight was. Today hasn't been a great day. I I feel like I don't know. I just he deserves to meet people too. I just wanted to do like a, a like at least one romance romantic thing to see if she continued it, but if she doesn't, I'm not gonna push it. What's am I doing this right? Oh, that's so cute. I want to see what that is. I really like this painting. That's just an interaction I've never seen before. That was really cute. That was really cute. Now he's feeling all encouraged. Supportive partner. She's not your partner. She's just a friend that you flirted with a little bit. Okay. Well, let's not push any boundaries. <coughs> That's unhealthy. Well, I think with that absolute disaster out of the way, we're going to head home. And I'm going to skip to the next morning. Um, and then just do the volunteering that he wants to do. And then, I don't know. We'll find out tomorrow. Alright, so Eric and Callie are off volunteering at a soup kitchen right now. Um, there are random people at our house. But, um, you know, other than that. Uh, they're making cakes. It's one of those... Uh, I hate this. I hate this so much. They just fill your house up with white cakes. My patience was not built for this. The soup kitchen asks chef asks Callie to taste the soup. It, it is incredibly salty and just plain gross. Should Callie tell the truth or risk offending the chef? Tell the truth. Oh. She was thrown out. Why? The soup was gross. It's not her fault. So what if she wasn't tactful about it? She told him it was gross. Because why are you 
feeding gross soup to a bunch of people that need it. Why is Sergio at our house? Why are you here? Hmm? Hmm? Oh! What a beautiful view. Well, they're back, and she's feeling better than ever. It's... <sighs> go discuss our fears. I want him to get over this. So let's go talk to Callie about it. All right. <laughs> On that note, <laughs> I think I'm going to wrap up the episode. Um, I got to a third day today, which is different. I think uh, next episode I'm going to start out with Eric and just kind of move along with him. Um, I really want him to find someone, and I'm like really sad that the romance festival went so badly. It went so badly. Um, so we'll see, you know, what we can do in the next episode. I think Callie also just doesn't really have any romance options right now either, and I don't know. I just, I'm gonna keep an eye out for other sims, and we'll see where it goes. And 